The target system is a T2080 based board from Extreme, which comes equipped with four physical cores or eight virtual cores, and an AMD E8860, which can support up to six displays. The board is running Integrity 1782MP, Green Hill Software's DO178B Level A certifiable multi core real time operating system, and Richland Technologies' RTGL software library. In this first mode, a graphics application is assigned to Core 1, which has a 16 millisecond major frame. The graphics application is allocated a 3.2 millisecond minor frame. This is 20% of the available CPU time, leaving 80% spare capacity for available throughput on Core 1. At only 20% of the major frame allocated to it, the graphics application displays at about 222 frames per second. If we perform a mode change and give the application instead 10% of the available CPU time, we see the frame rate cut roughly in half to about 109 frames per second. We can assign the graphics application to a different core by performing another mode change. The application is now running on core 5 for only 10% of its available CPU time. We can perform yet another mode change in order to show that we can assign other applications to other cores without affecting the graphics application on Core 5. In this mode, a Mandelbrot Fractal application has been assigned to Core 6. When we allow it to run, the Mandelbrot Fractal is completed in about 4 seconds. If we want to decrease the time it takes to complete the Mandelbrot Fractal, we can perform another mode change and assign this multi-threaded Mandelbrot Fractal application to cores 6 and 7. Utilizing symmetric multiprocessing cuts the time to completion roughly in half to about 2 seconds. Now we will move the graphics application back to Core 1 with a final mode change. This time, however, the graphics application is allocated an 800 nanosecond minor frame, only 5% of the available CPU time, leaving 95% spare capacity for available throughput on Core 1. This cuts the frame rate once again to about 56 frames per second. 